Welcome to the Cognac, Tequila, and the Girl Show. The pod with a dope squad talking about life, all straight with no chaser. Thanks for clicking that play button. Take a shot and join your host, Cognac, Tequila, and the Girl, also known as Rob, Mike, and Dunia. Yay. Yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. We're, we're back. Hope you're back. <laughs> and if this is your first time, welcome. And thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is like Rob said, episode siete. Oh jeez. Seven. <laughs> you said seven. <laughs> I said siete. I said seven. You yeah, okay? <laughs> yeah, seven. Yeah. We're going international. <laughs> Yeah, episode seven, it's a milestone, like episode five was a milestone, um, seven is a good number for me, I don't have a lucky number, but I like the number seven. I like the number six, so I also like last week's, <laughs> yeah. I like the number eight. So you don't like next week's. <laughs> seven, seven and eleven for me, uh, you know what I'm saying. Oh, so you're, seven, 11, so you're a crap, so like he's, a, he's a craps player, <laughs> <laughs> or well, yeah, <laughs> He likes slushies and, yeah. and no, nachos. They, they, they're called Icy's. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, I, lo- I love Icy's. Do we even have 7-Eleven Yeah, they in back. Texas? They back in, in Texas. Texas? Yeah. Where? Oh, yeah. All over. I haven't seen one. Yeah, they, I haven't seen yeah, one They all over. Google them. They all over, though. Well, I'm going to yeah. go just out of principle. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, they back. Well, and it's funny because um, I remember in Arizona, that's what we had. County, Texas. It was one right across the street from my high school. And, like, it quickly turned into a stop and go. Yeah. And all 7-Elevens were gone. But but now they're coming back. I just yeah. remember them in Florida. That was where you went. I don't even remember any other gas stations. There were slushies. You're right. The Icy. Yeah. Yeah. You, my bad. Yeah. I was going to say. Icy is that new one. I thought you wanted to call it something yeah. cooler. Yeah. <laughs> You are. You are. It's not. A, it's just an icy. I just didn't want to shame you. Man. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm a slushy icy. Thank you, argument. Man. Thank you, brother. <laughs> it's too early for all of that. <laughs> I haven't even finished my first cocktail. Wow. <laughs> and it's my first one since last week. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's okay. Dude. I just came back from a girls' night dinner, uh, <laughs> so I had to. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so today's topic is called, or subject title is called, Dear Semi-Sober Ones, <laughs> right? Yeah. Dear Semi-Sober, and we're, we're going to read letters that have been written, um, addressed to the Dear Semi-Sober Ones, <laughs> and we're going to try to answer those questions to the best of our capabilities while while we're semi sober. <laughs> we thought it would be fun to give advice. Unfiltered. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. So how are you, how are y'all week? How was the week Oof. for you guys? Oof. Let me go last. So, okay. so I don't have an attitude. Me? Um no, it was fine. I um uh, had to prepare for like a state sales meeting or whatever. But, uh, Oops, that was my bad. Apologize, folks. Yeah. And anyways, <laughs> so that being said, um, yeah, and the meeting went well. Um, everybody was actually impressed that we got it done <laughs> better than normal because usually it goes longer, but we have a new team that can understand and verbatim get it quick. And, you know, the fundamentals were done very well and very to point and what needs to be done and so on and so forth so they can get back to their cities and areas. That's good, yeah. man. New t- new a new team is always good. Especially Killed, yeah. it. Killed it. Especially if it's a strong team. Yeah. So um, that being said, yeah. And y'all got that synergy. Mm-hmm. Most, everybody said the most meeting of them. Went really huh? quick. Most of them. Yeah. Everybody, <laughs> everybody said that have been there, they were like you, you know, the points were on point. You got to the point. There was, you know, no arguments. This is what we need to do, obviously. You know, that was it, basically. So not a, not a bad week for you. I mean, yeah, the end of the week actually made me proud of yourself. the team. No, I'm going to say the but, Well, yourself everybody. and the team. Yeah. You're proud of both. Yeah. My, my week was pretty good. Um, it was a little more busy 
on the safety aspect um, than usual. But not bad. The, the facility manager at one facility, he had a rough week because it seemed like day after day after day it was some type of upset that he had to deal with. And um, I, I'm a resource, so I was right there with him, you know, working working through the madness. But uh, other than that, it was a good week. Um, one facility that I, I oversee, we, we headed towards a, a huge milestone. And um, as far as working without a recordable, somebody getting hurt. So I'm kind of pulling my hair out of my head on that one, you know, because you don't want nobody to get hurt when you so close to meeting this milestone. May but, I ask a question? Yeah, go for it. What hair? <laughs> I, I got a George Jefferson right now, so I know you. <laughs> well, they all see your pictures. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. hair? Um, I Sorry. got, I got it now. <laughs> we we won't. The George Jefferson. <laughs> that's what I call it. Not that bad, though. No. 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 But um, yeah. So it's kind of walking on on uh, eggshells because uh, so these guys will go a year without nobody being significantly hurt. And it'll be the first time for this line of business. Um, probably since they've been in business. Um, so it's a big deal, but I know we'll get there because the guys want to get there. And, and they the ones that, that, that make it happen, so. Fingers and toes crossed. Yeah, yeah. and prayers up. And, uh, well, always yeah. the prayers. <laughs> <laughs> you can cross your toes? Yes, actually I can. Can you? Yeah, wow. I can. Mm -hmm. Cause I'd be trying to pray in all the all types of ways of prayer. Small yeah. ass feet you cross your nose. I can cross mine. I learned that in pool NBA pool basketball. Oh lord! Oh shit! <laughs> That's a whole other conversation. I learned how to do that. Now hold on. Here's a here's a funny story because. I think mine stomped and broke my toe, what? but that's here or there, what? and we'll just leave it at that. And it became a big issue because I'm healthy. Because I'm Mike, walking, I'm what? Every time I make a step, I go in circles sometimes. But that's cool. <laughs> oh because Mike played basketball with shoes on, and he took to play barefoot. <laughs> I mean, I, I, don't, I don't even play with them anymore. Yeah, so. We'll have to talk about this. Come on, now, how you gonna play barefoot? I mean, I don't play with you guys anymore. You take it too seriously. Like they, they're in the NBA in that water. I just twenty twenty. <laughs> I'm the t ring the champion too. Okay. I hold that. Well, twenty twenty one when the summer hits. Good luck. Me and, and, and Every, with, with every, teams too. Everybody has to wear metal boots in the pool. Me, <laughs> me and gangster on teams. I think we hold that. Because we smoke you in the air, Rob. Uh-oh. Well, let me tell you something oh, about no. Aaron. No. <laughs> okay. no, we are not pool basketballing. That is Aaron will break episode. my neck before I get the ball. So, are you kidding me? Yeah, you had a fierce team. You had Aaron. Aaron will jump on top of me, drown me. and No, I had, ga I had Gangster. You had Aaron. But I had, who did I have? Aaron. No, I didn't. Yeah. You said... It was me. Oh, yeah. against um, Aaron. Now, no, that's why. And I'm like, Aaron, I'm on your team. What the? Why? But <laughs> I'm joking. to Aaron's defense, no, I'm just not joking. mine. When I did have Aaron, me, Aaron, and Carlos against you, Adam, and Daniel, I think we took that one too. No, you didn't. Okay. No, you didn't. I think we no, did. No, your, son, your son <laughs> broke my nail <laughs> and uh, tried to take my eye out. So, but that's here nor there. <laughs> That's all we're talking about. Can I talk about my week? Because you yeah. guys oh, go yeah, on yeah. this pool basketball <laughs> thing for forever like it is real. Nobody's been making any money and everybody gets injured. Carlos out there practicing. <laughs> <laughs> my week was terrible. <laughs> terrible. It ended great, but good, it, was, good. it was terrible. It started off really bad. My parents left. You guys all met them on the last episode mainly my dad and they left Monday morning and I bawled like I was a teenager <laughs> going away to summer camp mm. and cried and boohooed and snotted um I missed them I already they got back safely thank god and told them okay time, time to come back <laughs> August yeah like my dad said August it's way too far away but that's fine um, and I had some difficulties at work, and, uh, I guess 
those difficulties taught me, I'm not going to get into it, taught me at some point, if you don't see what you have, it's not for me to show you. Mm. So I guess it was a life lesson. Um, if you don't see it, then okay, bye. <laughs> that, that's, that's a good lesson. And um, man, so I had a coworker. God works in mysterious ways. Man. And he just he just made um, a career change, and he was he was talking to me, and I'm like, dude, every time I made a decision to leave, I would uh, work like I got 19 jobs at that mm -hmm. one job. 19. <laughs> Good. Just so, just so I when think I'm, I really do have 19. <laughs> you yeah. do. So when I'm gone, they miss me. They're like, damn, we let them get away. Yeah. Because they already don't recognize, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. if they did, you wouldn't be leaving. So before you I leave, I think a lot of times when things run smoothly, they don't they, realize. You forget. They don't realize yeah. why it's running smoothly just because you don't sit around going, look what I'm doing, look what I'm doing. Because mm -hmm. that's not my vibe at all. Yep. Like, I, I just want to do it. You but that's anywhere that I work or anything that I do. I don't care if it's a. I'm planning a party, right. you know. Um, so that was a good life lesson. I mean, I'm at work and um, doing it. And this weekend has been busy. It's been a big girls weekend for me. I've had two girls dinners and I'm having a girls brunch and going roller skating actually tomorrow. Good luck. <laughs> With what? On them skates. Man, call me new new 2.0. <laughs> ATL. I know where the hoop earrings are. I might need to pull the hoop. You could. Now you gave me an idea. <laughs> I remember the last time I got on some skates. <laughs> when I when I realized that I couldn't skate anymore, because I used to skate. Yeah. All the you time. Rollerblading. Rollerblading. Mm, roller I, I, I never understood the logic. <laughs> me either. Yeah. No, I I could jump on those like I skate some. But uh, I need the wall. The wall is my friend. Oh, no. Oh, no. But you <laughs> they, just, they need to give me one of those walker things. No. With the wheels on. No, 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 no. <laughs> those are for toddlers and senior citizens. And you're not any of those. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what, you yeah. might need to rent one. Huh. And just be like, oh, I'm teaching this kid. I'll, it take, just, I'll take video. I'll it post just, it. I'm not as tall. As, I wasn't as tall as I am now. And wasn't as heavy as I am now the last time I skate, man. Just to think about that fall <laughs> and then getting up from it with the skate still on. With shit. people looking at you. <laughs> with people looking at you. <laughs> I'm good. I'm going to play Pac-Man. <laughs> right. There's always an arcade. Always an arcade, yeah. <laughs> Oh, y'all got the old Street Fighter here? <laughs> 50 cents? Nah. <laughs> Inflation. Okay, I'm going to start with the question. Now, mind you, these are worded, and Cognac and Tequila have not heard these. I uh, have them myself. Okay. So we're going to give advice the best we can. Are we ready? I am ready. Okay. You ready? Dear, I <laughs> I'm just going to call it Dear Y'all. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. Dear Y'all, because of a serious illness, that resulted from taking a certain medication, I recently received a settlement of more than a million dollars. I have invested most of the money and have a cash flow sufficient to take care of emergencies and a few luxuries. I must make sure that these funds will cover medical expenses for the remainder of my life. Ever since I received the settlement, my family, it says my family including children, parents, siblings, think I'm very rich and that my money is their money too. They constantly ask me to bail them out of one financial mess or another or to buy them luxury items. I have helped them out of tight spots in the past, but they have always squandered their money and have never saved a dime for the future. I go to bed each night sick to my stomach because of the guilt trips they put me through when I refuse their request for money. They expect me to pay for anything. Y'all, am I being selfish? You want me to answer first? Go ahead. So, do, do you have a name? 
her name or his name. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna call them uh, Janine. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, <so> Janine. Janine. <laughs> it seems like no, no. I don't think you're being selfish. Um, seems like you have a well-rounded sound plan for yourself and what you need to do with your finances. And the same way you wrote it out in your question, maybe you need to sit down with them and explain your situation and what you're doing with your money, you know, to them and let the adults be adults and the kids be kids. I mean, so be it, you know what I'm saying? Live your life and set yourself up the way that's gonna work for you. And it sounds like if you want a lawsuit for that much money, it sounds like you probably went through some type of adverse situation due to the medicine that you exactly. took. So, man, excuse my language. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yeah, I mean, and and um, just set the standard and stand and stick by it, and you should be fine. Janine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Carol. So, um, it's you just need it's to... Janine. We got to stick with Janine. Oh, we're sticking with yeah. Janine. Yeah, Carol can be the next one. Oh, well, no, I just... <laughs> Anyways, I'm not talking about that anyway, but um, Janine, yeah, make sure you're set. You did it. You made yourself the money. You made yourself set. You know, um, most people know when the, it's like the, almost at the end. And I just watched a family guy, as a matter of fact, where Brian married a girl and she came back to life twice. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, what the hell? He thought he was set, basically. Like he, he thought was he had that will money. <laughs> he was trying, no, he was trying to actually give her a good life yeah. for Mary. But then once she realized she lived again, like, <laughs> she was like, oh. She was never going away. Yeah. Anyways, y'all probably, maybe if you watch that episode, I don't remember which one it was. Uh, she was at girls' night, and I was, that's what I was doing. Anyways. That being said, no, get your, get your, you know, live your life, do what you want. Like, I don't know why they're bugging you and making you feel bad on trying to take your money. You know, I would not do that. You know, I would butter you up like you did. Not in, in the back of your mind, if you're an asshole, you'd Well, Janine's not dead. I know, but I'm saying in the back of your mind. <laughs> Thank God, that's why she got the, the money. In the back of your mind, you'd be like, well, why don't you invest in some gold? Because if you're there for she might leave it to you. I don't know. Like, instead of bugging her about it, that's some bullshit. Yeah. Like, do you. First of all... Let's hang together. Let's do stuff. Janine, like, they're fucking selfish. Right? <laughs> Excuse that's me. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. A million like, dollars. Whatever you want to do. A million, she said a million. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's a change. change. That is that nothing go in, in anymore, these man. times, first of mm -hmm. all. Um, Especially if you're concerned about medical bills. Yeah, you still got to yeah. work. Medical bills are expensive you, as well. Yeah, you still have to work. And they didn't take the medicine. They did not take it. So maybe they need to look at whatever things they were taking and invest to figure that way out. Because yeah. that's not something that you chose to inherit. Right. It's, yeah. it's a, it, it's you don't treat people for inheritance. Yeah, I hate yeah, that. Yeah, she yeah. could have lost her that. life. You yeah. don't try. Yeah. Yeah. And killer. you're just yeah. worried about, I well, good, that. you got it now. So then, Janine, yeah. Yeah. they're trying to put you in the same position <laughs> they're in right. without an, you know what I mean? No. I, yeah, no, sorry. And I don't know but anyone. But there's thousands of people that do I know, that. I know. I know. They just and butter that's, you up. That's why you keep your, 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 and that was your a, good that's family. That's why I made a joke But that's now. why you get keep your good family close and your squad close because... Yeah. Money should never be a factor in a relationship. Right. Um, period. And one more thing, Janine. Keep your business to yourself. Why the you? you <laughs> yeah, because that's not okay. So here's here's something funny. Because I always said if I won the lottery, right? Yeah. Oh, man. I already have it figured out who I'm giving it to and what I'm giving it to. Da, 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 yeah. da. Oh, this is I wouldn't tell Very anybody, but I wouldn't tell anyone. Depends how much you want. Okay. But, I'm, this conversation. but what I'm saying is I wouldn't tell anyone I won the lottery. Yeah. I would just be like, yo, I came up with some money. I want to give this to you. But when you win the lottery, it's public record. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. So 
they can figure that out. Yeah. And then they start. But if you start asking me questions, but, first of all, you don't need to ask me. If you have to ask me, that means we aren't that close. So if I if I didn't broad <laughs> if I didn't broadcast it, yeah. And you figure it out. You're bad. Yeah, well, you, we got a problem You're already. Bad. When it's, you come around me, right? You didn't ask me yeah. about my bank account before. My, Why are you asking now? Because <laughs> if my lifestyle changed that drastically. You probably don't know my lifestyle right now. So if it changed that drastically, you sure not going to know because I'm going to be on a whole another level where you can't even, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Off the stratosphere. Don't, <laughs> and then, um, don't, don't ask If, if you just show up all of a sudden picking in my window, couldn't mind. <laughs> cousin. Yeah, it's always a cousin. Yeah. You know I'm from uh, Auntie. Yeah. Da, 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 yeah. Da, 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 da. My I, last name Bass, too. <laughs> yeah, all right. I say, yeah, the there's, best. A, there's a lot of Murdochs in the world. Yeah. But. <laughs> that went from the thing about when we said about would you rather be famous and rich, <laughs> right? Or yeah. Just peeping out the window. I think all three of us are pretty private people <laughs> for the most part. I, I, most I get it all the time. You can but I'm private about my bank account. Period. Period. <laughs> I get it all. We can't. I mean, that's an oxymoron because we can't be private. We're doing this podcast, literally just. Yeah, but I'm not giving you on. what's in my account. Yeah. <laughs> well, no. And my ATM and, card number is. And, and yeah. I don't care how big this podcast get. Don't ask me for any money. Right. Because <laughs> it's just a small podcast. Right? Three people. It's not like it's a yeah. whole ensemble. I don't care. People, I don't care if we have a whole ensemble. <laughs> don't ask me for anything. The, the, I'm already a charitable person. I was gonna say, I yeah. I, I think all three I mean, of us are charitable people. Don't yeah. I was gonna say, yeah. If I see you, like, okay. never mind. But, yeah. We're gonna move on to the next question. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. So, dear y'all, my daughter works hard to have a nice life and has supported herself since before she graduated college. She's a bright young woman, but like so many others I have known, she has desperately bad taste in men so this is a father obviously her current boyfriend who works very why be a mother why are you being so okay how it was worded i'm just saying her current boyfriend who works very (laughs) part-time just moved in with her she owns her own condo so there's no rent but there is a mortgage and all the expenses of owning a home i try to be pleasant to this guy but my son told me the boyfriend was joking about how he not only found a sweet girl, but also a sweet ride. Mm-hmm. Okay. Both my son and I interpret that to mean this young man is a gigolo in the making, <laughs> and my daughter is his first target. I have a good relationship with my daughter, but I cannot imagine she would take well to me telling or even suggesting that her boyfriend is using her. Do I risk saying something or just do the non-interfering dad act forever? See, I'm a good... I knew it was yeah. dad. Okay, fine. But here's the thing. So, so would you say she's, something? She's, she's the, dating a bum. Yeah, basically. <laughs> but he's doing what with her? Like a gigolo as far as... He's just he didn't living off of her. He's, he's, got he's, oh, he's yeah. living off her? Yeah. But then something about meeting a dude, something you said? No, this uh, this dude that she met is not doing anything. He's just lay, basically lay like yeah, yeah, lay yeah lay a layabout. Lay lay He's like, well, we can't be BB. <laughs> okay, fine. So yeah, okay. Yeah. She, and um, okay, go ahead. That was it. That was, He's oh. asking, do I risk <clears throat> saying something to my daughter and messing up our relationship? That hey. You really need to keep an eye out for him because he's trash, or just be quiet. What would you do? I mean, like you said before, we're really not parents as far as in the multitude of having that experience. But um, it my thoughts, yeah, I'd say something. I'd be like, man, why is he taking your money? I mean, just me being me. I'd be like, this dude's laying about. I'd probably just walk up on him and kick the couch and I'm sleeping <laughs> on him. I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't I mean, know. I'm going I literally to, don't know. I'm I mean, going to say something. Yeah, that's what I was getting at, basically. You going to say something? Some call this guy Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bobby. Bobby's, Bobby's who wrote it. Bobby wrote oh, it. Yeah, yeah, he's Bobby giving us our writers. Oh, okay. okay. 
Okay, Bobby. Um, <laughs> sound like your daughter is super mature. Sound like your daughter got her head on her shoulders. And you say that you guys have a pretty good relationship. So the first thing I would do, I would ask her if she's happy. Yeah. In that situation. Mm-hmm. And then I would ask her, you know, <laughs> maybe the next day. <laughs> what you know? What attracts so you? So you run it up on him too? <laughs> no, no, he's going. He said the, the next pace. day. Kind of. I'm talking to the, my daughter though. Oh. You know, I would ask her, you know, what it is she actually, what, why not what she's seeing, but why is she attracted to him? Because a lot of times daughters are attracted to characteristics that they that they fathers have, right? Or they might be attracted to the Ooh. opposite. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at, man, where did I fail you at? What, then, am I somewhat like that? Or was I so forceful or so demanding and so pushy in your life that you want the exact opposite from me? of me? So I would ask, what are you attracted? What attracts you to this guy? You know? Because yeah. I, I, I'm asking you this because I want to build a relationship with him if he's going to be in your life. <laughs> you know, he, he, he moved in with you and stuff. Yeah. Um, and then every Thanksgiving dinner you're looking at. No, it. so I'm just giving <laughs> giving her the benefit of the doubt. To and just I, try to listen. To try to listen. Yeah. Because I know in this conversation, my I'm, I'm hoping that she asks me, what do you think, Dad? Yeah. You know, and then when she asks, what do I think? I would not be candidly about it, but I would try to be um, as practical and based off our relationship, the good side of our relationship, I'll try to come at that angle and just tell her, this, this is what I see from the outside looking in. You know what I'm saying? Um, be careful, right? Well, shit, I guess I'm like That's the taken dad. Huh? I guess I'm like the taken dad. Just running <laughs> up in there like... Well, she on her own already. She yeah. on a condo and I mean... Yeah, yeah. And I want to savage our relationship. I'm going to be there for it. I, I've identified this guy. And you know, I'm going to do whatever I can to put it on her radar. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want her to be unhappy. I don't want her to be... I can't enjoy my boyfriend and my family because my dad think yeah. this about you. and Because I've been in that through that shit before. You know what I'm saying? I've been in relationships where... Parents didn't agree with me. And, you know, that's, yeah. that's the worst. And to the boyfriend, get off the th- that's the worst. Yeah, Get off the couch, That's the worst. Get off the couch and get some 19 Jones. <laughs> 19. 19. Good one. So I would say something. Right. Bobby, I would, I, I, would, I would address a Bobby, but I'll just be real strategic about it. Um, yes. Where you savage, your, you, you don't want to lose your relationship with your daughter over this loser. So you want to be... I agree with everything yep. Tequila said. And I think that works even with friendships. Yep. You know, like you have a friend that's oh. with somebody terrible, yep. boyfriend or girlfriend, and you just mm-hmm. have to tread carefully. Mm-hmm. Um, and you have to do the same thing with your daughter. Because especially when it's love, or they think it's love, you can't say too much to people. So you just have to tread carefully, and then if that doesn't work, you get your unit together yeah. <laughs> behind her back hey. and, well, and take people out. Because <laughs> the thing is, right, being an being, being adult, an adult, we all adults, I'm in between, you yeah. know, um, we've made some, some people have made some bad decisions, not bad decisions, but chose some shady individuals just because you had an awesome fucking time with him. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So she could be having an awesome time right now. And it could be going a little bit far because she'd have moved them in and all that. Yeah. So you just want to... He might be... Yeah, he might be... Her, that's, 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 what yeah. Oh, yeah. No. that's what I'm saying. She might be getting yeah. her groove on yeah. right now. You so can't talk, you can't talk dad, about her that. Well, I'm yeah. willing to pay for it. And, and, <laughs> and, and if she never had it done to her before like that, yeah. it don't matter what dad say. Yeah. Because when she go home and he throw it on the table... Oh. <laughs> Pull it out. <laughs> she was like, "That was worth that work day." <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah. So just tread carefully. Bob, yeah. Bob, Bobby was his name. Bob, right? yeah. Bobby. 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 Just tread carefully. I mean, okay. Can I say something? Yeah. So the reverse on the situation is your son. Then what? Then she got the. Ooh, like diamonds. Yeah. 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 Like that. Diamonds yeah. get like yeah. that too. Yeah. Yeah. He picked up, he got the sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> the sky. Right? Yeah. Throw the sky. Yeah. Turn the yeah. sunshine. Yeah. Oh, I mean, God. 
Them either either way, it works for in, any parent. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean like, yeah, like, you, know. you have to tread carefully because she may be like, Dad, you're right. Da, 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 da. And then the next day, she yeah. don't feel that way. Yeah. But then she mad at you because you already <laughs> you <laughs> caught her up. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't, I knew he wasn't. You know, yeah. it's like, you have to be well, careful. It's like I said the statement before when I said the kids, the best statement I heard what kids are like saying. It's like if you hold them too tight, they fall out of your hand, and if you hold them too soft, they fall. And out your hand. kids are always going to be your kids, no matter what yeah, age they are. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's what I <laughs> kind of was getting. In. Well, that was good advice. Yeah. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you guys don't know these. I read this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I already. <laughs> Just let me answer first. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay <laughs> Dear y'all, my husband and our. He's from Texas. <laughs> Dear y'all. No, my what is she saying? Dear y'all. Yeah. Oh. yeah. My husband and our nanny have been getting close. Mm. A little too close, if you ask me. She is 22 years old and very pretty. I am a lawyer and work long hours, so she's in our home with him many nights of the week. Hmm. Sounds like Bobby's. Right. <laughs> Bobby's daughter stayed with that man. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, because of COVID-19, he often works from home. This never bothered me until recently. I saw her flirting with him the other night when I came home from work. She was holding my daughter and asking all sorts of questions about his business and wanted to know if he could privately mentor her mm. and i was sick i don't think he thought i could hear them i confronted him and he seemed truly shocked that i would even think that she was flirting or that he would be interested but trust me i know what i felt in my gut how do i nip this in the bud she's a great nanny i'll give her that but this nonsense has to stop mm. so, so no i'm gonna she can answer, answer first, first. Oh, that's fine. number one <laughs> I don't know why, well, okay, so how I've always felt is, why are you bringing in some young, hot toddy into your house? You wouldn't do it on a normal basis, period. Right. And not someone that's literally working for you and is going to be in your home all the time. Like, that just for anyone. Yeah. Um... But that doesn't work because we've seen it in celebrity news that uh, the, the nanny can look like a foot. Right. <laughs> and it could happen. Um, but my question is, why does she have to be there so much? Especially since the COVID hit. Mm -hmm. And your husband's working from home. I'm working from home. Uh, what's, what's the problem? What, why is she even there? It, it, it seems like money saving. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not a jealous person. I think I said that before. But respect is respect, and you need to give me my respect. Yeah. So uh, if I feel like I'm being disrespected, especially in my home, and it sounds like she's the breadwinner, uh, no. Nah. So next time, next. Okay, so you're fine. You're not that into her. Now I'm bringing in a Manny. <laughs> <laughs> a Manny. A Manny, yeah. So <laughs> we'll fun. see. We'll see y'all's type of relationship <laughs> and work on that. That's that. If I feel disrespected in my home, you can't come to my home. Right. Period. I don't care. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> y'all's advice. Which 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 you gonna do? Rebecca. I guess. Um, and also think about it as. A man yeah, coming into yeah. your wife with the manny, I yeah. guess. Yeah. So, Rebecca, um, the advice that I gave you, Becky, if you don't mind. <laughs> um, number one, go with your gut feeling. Um, and if your gut feeling is that strong, it don't matter what he say. Replace her. If you need her, you know, yeah. re replace her. If you need her, don't disrupt your home just because... Whatever excuse he's giving, you know what I'm saying? Look, right now it seems like you're the breadwinner. I'm the breadwinner. You working from home. Either you're going to take care of the kids while you work from home, or we're going to get a new nanny. I don't have to explain anything to her. You know, um, it ain't working. It's not working. 
I'm I like gonna, it. I'm gonna get my grandma to come in to mm -hmm. take care of the kids during COVID. Yeah. Yep. And, and that's if, it. And if you argue with me yep. too much about it, then I know it's a problem. Yep. That's follow your gut. Yep. Yeah. What's her name? Becky. Becky. Rebecca. 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 Yeah. Rebecca, sleep with her first. <laughs> <laughs> Show him who's boss. <laughs> Let him come Let home. him come in on that. <laughs> and to be like, oh, now, nah, I already got it. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> That's my advice. Yeah. I did it on first. That. Yeah. What is the, the Ray J song? Ray I did, J. I yeah. did it first. Depending on, yeah, depending on then your phase conversation. Kanye at all. <laughs> depending on your conversation with your husband, your husband might be like, really? And try to be cool with it. And I don't know how strong you are. Rebecca, Rebecca, right? Yeah. Rebecca, I don't know how strong you are with your relationship, but <clears throat> that's my suggestion. Yeah. I don't know. I'm weird. Just <laughs> so sleep with her first. Say if you want to join or not. I don't know. Yeah. If you don't. Kanye then... gave the porno answer. Like this, <laughs> could, this could all work out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you should do it first with girl power. Yeah. <laughs> if she hot. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Just because she's 22 don't mean she's hot. Period. I mean, you never said that. No, I'm just, I'm just, no, in I'm not so, even. Okay, speaking <clears> to <throat> Rebecca. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. yeah. That's true. I was yeah. about to say something, but it wouldn't have made no sense. But Well, then don't. Because I was going to say 20. <laughs> why wouldn't 22 be? But yeah. Because like, yeah, we live in America. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, sometimes people just think <laughs> younger <laughs> is better. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yeah. All right. Dear y'all, our daughter, Adrian, that's not the daughter's name. That's yeah. what they, they put in quotes. Is 20 and not very sociable. Mm. She doesn't have many friends. Mm -hmm. Almost every time my wife and I go out to eat or go away for the weekend, my wife insists on taking Adrian along because she doesn't want to leave her home. Abby, our daughter, should be out with friends, not her parents. I would like to spend some time alone with my wife. How do you feel about this situation? I'm frustrated. Mm -hmm. You can go first. Me? Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Um, <laughs> you know, is Abby... Um, Abby is a Adrian. The, we are Abby. Yeah, we, like, we're Abby. Okay. <laughs> Adrian is the, her name. Yeah. It's the daughter. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Adrian, whatever. <laughs> so, Adrian has to hang out with her parents. She doesn't have social life, doesn't have friends, basically, or whatever. Yeah, and the mommy feels guilty. Guilty. So, and, she's so like, she let's takes, include her in everything. She includes her in everything. I mean, if that's the case, then I don't. Spite the mom. Does the dad have a problem? Yeah, that's who wrote. He them. has a problem with it. With the daughter coming in. Okay, so... Yeah, I... I mean... That one's a hard one to answer, to be honest with you, because... You know, the mom's trying to hang out with the daughter. The husband has a problem. Then it coincides with the husband having the problem with the wife. His wife. And she has to include him and everything. But it's not abnormal that I can think of a circumstance where what do you do? Give her a hobby? How are you going to force a hobby on the daughter? Or make her popular? Or, like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. What do you tell her? Sit home and do what? Well, they write, they, they want advice, Rob. Either you got some or you don't. No, I'm saying I don't. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I mean. Yeah. Um, Listen here, Adrian. If you don't want to go out and meet people, then sit home and read your books. Or there, you that's kind of what yeah. I was going to I'm trying to have a moment with my wife. I'm trying to have a moment with my wife or my husband. That's how we were able to make you. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and we're trying to keep that spirit alive. So I mean, that's kind of what I was getting. I'm not at. taking you everywhere. No. Sorry, no. it's just not happening. I don't even think that's a hard question. All right, so Paul. <laughs> Paul. So his name is Paul. Yeah, Paul. 
Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, Paul, um, I, don't, I wasn't at your wedding, and I, I don't understand your vows. I don't know your vows, you know. Um, but I know that it's written that uh, eventually the kids will grow up, um, get families of their own, and, and move out and let the, the parents do what they got to do. And you may need to talk to your wife. Um, maybe your wife got something. You know, she's feeling so guilty. Your wife, you probably need to talk to your wife. And if she don't feel, I think you got an issue with your wife. I mean, it's like stepbrothers kind of. Because we don't know. You're not giving us enough information, you know, about yeah. about Adrian. So yeah. it's, it, it's, 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 it's what, no, no, it's Adrian. Do Adrian want to go with y'all? Uh, or is your wife? Making her go just because, because yeah. she she antisocial. That's why. So she may answer. not even want to go. Mm -hmm. So if your wife feeling guilty because she don't, you know what I'm saying? Maybe your wife need a chill pill. You know, you need to. And maybe, and also maybe your wife doesn't really have that much fun with you anymore. Huh? That too. <laughs> More fun yeah. with the daughter. Right? I think this is a little. I mean, I can give you some advice, <laughs> but if you want your know, stuff to work. Y'all, I'm going to recommend that y'all go talk to some type of counselor, the three of y'all. Because, number one, your daughter may be ah. fine. Your daughter may be fine at home reading her books, watching TV, doing whatever she does to, to keep her entertained while you guys go out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, I, would, I would have a heart-to-heart -heart with, with my wife. With your, with your wife, and um, explain to her what you just explained in your letter to us, and um, see what I mean, the see what the issue is. You got to talk to your wife on this well, one. Well, no, basically yeah. it goes both yeah. points. That's why I said it was hard to answer. It's not. It's not hard to answer. I think no, the it's the issue mean, with the wife. What I mean by hard to answer, but the the fact of the matter is, is like you kind of said, it's like how. Um, she said she gave an age. Did you hear the age on the dollar? I just heard Adrian. Um, Did so Adrian have an age? age or Twenty. Twenty. Tw oh, anyways. Yeah. No, I was saying that um, basically, yeah, that they need to have a conversation. Like we need. Um, yeah, the, know, he need to have. Yeah. He need. It's not the daughter. It may not be the daughter. You know, she's so what? She antisocial, and all this. It just may. You need a conversation with your wife. And like, like the girl said, maybe your wife ain't feeling you. Maybe she don't, your wife don't want to be, maybe you gain some pounds. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, you know what I'm saying? There could be some things going on with you and, and, and your wife don't want to be alone with you in public. So she dragging her daughter along. Yeah. You know, he needs to talk to his wife. Yeah. I think it's really deep what, what they're going through. Yeah. And they may need some uh, third party yeah. um, advice other than ours, right? Yeah. Because I'm going to steer wrong at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, so my advice to old Paul is, man, talk talk to your lady, man. Um, see where her head at. And um, I think you'll get closer to solving that problem once you, you just be just as um, transparent with her as you was with, with us. Good luck. Good luck. Paul. Paul. Was Paul. Paul. Yeah. Good luck, Paul. <laughs> my friend, dear y'all, my friend Gina and I have known each other for many years. The other day she got into a heated discussion on Facebook with several other people we've known for years. It was about politics. When I read her post, I was shocked. She belittled and bullied those who didn't share her opinion. I have since deleted my Facebook account because I don't want to see such hatred. What do I tell her when she asks why I'm no longer on social media? All right, Lisa. I don't know how old you are, Lisa. Um, and I really don't know how much. Uh, sound like it, it's driving your life a lot, the social media stuff. Um, so I'm not even going to get into that. Because I have no real understanding of how what somebody said on social media can dictate your friendship. But if they said it, they said it, right? And if you don't agree with it, you don't agree with it. And if they said it, something that's so severe where you block them, 
Why do you have to explain yourself to them? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can if you're trying to establish the friendship, but you're not trying to establish the friendship if you, I mean, I don't understand the social media shit, but if I block you, that means I don't fuck with you on social media or in real life, right? So, why you gotta explain yourself? Fuck it. But here's the thing, she didn't just block them, she got off Facebook altogether because she didn't even want to. <laughs> <laughs> like, my thing is this, you oh, are so paranoid of this person, whoever it is, whoever she is. Yeah. What do you call her? What's her name? It's Lisa. 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 You had to take your whole social media off because this one person you didn't want to just hit unfriend or block or they have like a silent mode where you don't see people. Like that sounds like y'all have other deep rooted issues outside of this. You know you I, fucked my boyfriend. Yeah. You know you <laughs> fucked my boyfriend, Lisa. Yeah, like I, I don't, I don't know. You I, know, this, like, this was the last draw. <laughs> <laughs> Not to attack you, Lisa, but it, it sounds like you attention hunger. So and don't have a backbone. Yeah. So what if you did? You so you you not as what if you did? You you deleted your account. And what if she never asked you? Why yeah. did you delete? And then, then you still what? gotta hang out with her and yeah. still have these feelings towards yeah, her. Yeah. What if she don't give a fuck about you deleting your account <laughs> and she never asked you? <laughs> right. Then what you gonna do? Yeah. And you ask yeah. this stupid ass question. It was question. like you did it. So she- it seems like you wanted her to ask. Yeah. 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 You've been all past it. Yeah. I'm a. I yeah. want to tell her that that's some bullshit. Because I've had issues yeah. with people, like really good friends of mine, with social. I mean, social media is a whole different ballgame. And I will literally tell them, I'm about to unfriend you, and this is why. Yeah. You know, like, so we're not question. Don't question why I'm not liking anything because I don't want to see this. Yeah. Regardless of what it is, if it, it's honestly, you know, it's just. Mainly for me, if it's too fake, I'm, I'm yeah, done. You yeah. know, it's, if it's somebody I actually care about. You're right. So, uh, yeah, uh, Lisa, you probably should have just said, yo, I'm not feeling that yeah. vibe. Yeah. And if they keep that vibe going, yo. <laughs> now your little old <laughs> aunt and two below Mississippi, they never, they, they never get to see you. Doing. Can't even see what you're doing because you Cause of, playing cause, games with them. Because of Tanya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Yeah. And Do you have a a, a, a crush on Tanya? Yeah, some <laughs> fuck around. She broke. Maybe she broke Lisa's heart. Yeah, it sounded like yeah, it. She she's was like, I thought we were like the same. For Facebook. <laughs> she's not the person I thought she was. <laughs> yeah. I don't want her to do with Facebook no more. Yeah, and at the same time, uh, social media is to each their own. Like that's their. You know what I mean? That's still their page. They can do what they want. You mm-hmm. can't tell someone what they can and can't post. And, you know, it's making it vocal, what you think. And maybe you just go, okay, well, I thought I knew uh, Tanya. I don't. Yeah. That's it. Hey, hey. I don't want to hang out with somebody <laughs> that it, I don't like. Is Facebook the place Here. for that conversation? No. It's not. No. Nah. Because it's a site called LinkedIn, right? And it's like a networking thing. It's professional. And it's people on there, they post shit that I don't like. I yeah. just don't follow them no more. You know, yeah. like, this shit ain't even for this site. Just take that shit to Facebook, yeah, LinkedIn, Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. LinkedIn is literally for business. Yeah. Stupid. I'm like, oh, and if they feelings get hurt, I don't even think they know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> and if you ask me, yeah. I'm going to either tell yeah. you or just ignore you. Yeah, I don't, yeah what the fuck? Come here. No, Facebook, the, the funny thing is they do, you know, they do um, take away a lot of content on things that, whatever. But that being said, yeah, I'm not a social media person, as you all know. I'm not on it very much. Um, I have recently gone on it just to like the cognac and tequila girl thing or whatever. And um, that being said, yeah, I don't get offended. There's a lot of things I see that I don't get offended by. Thank you um, for your enthusiasm behind <laughs> cognac tequila and the girl. Thank you for your enthusiasm <laughs> for actually getting on. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I try to stay under the radar <laughs> as much as I can. And then we're doing this podcast and my voice is out there, so that's 
weird. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> not really. They're not welcome. So, I'm sorry. But I didn't mean to cut you off, bro. No, you're yeah. fine. Go ahead. No, you was, you was talking to Lisa. No, I just said Facebook's just, I don't know. It's one of those things I said that I just wasn't never into. And I just, I don't know. As far as, like, my babe, uh, the girl, she posts a lot of pictures and stuff, you know, on there. And I'm like, oh, you know, I'll catch it because it pops up on my phone because she set it up on my phone. And it will pop up on my phone and I literally will scroll to that part. And then... Then you're in the wormhole because then it's like, oh, the new Mortal Kombat movie's coming out. Oh, well, shit, I got to check this out. Oh, my pillow. Or it's like... Any advice, huh? Any advice for Lisa? Huh? Any advice for Lisa? What was the Lisa? <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and like he told y'all, he'll go on to a whole other thing. He's talking about social media yeah. now. We, That's what we, y'all were talking about. We talking about Lisa. No, but Lisa asked for advice. I'm not rereading Lisa. Lisa yeah. about what? Her, she deleted her, her Facebook page because she ain't like what her friend said. Well, um, Lisa can do what she want, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's your advice, Lisa. Yeah. Basically, yeah. do what you want, Lisa. She, so, might, not, so, she might be better off not seeing a My Pillow commercial. So when her, <laughs> so when her friend asked her why you delete your page, how does she respond? How does she respond? Because uh, I didn't like. Here's the thing. Okay, I don't want to call Lisa. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. But I feel like. <laughs> You're yeah, a yeah. I get yeah. 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 Tell so, tell her or yeah. stop being a punk. Right, a punk. <laughs> yeah. yes. And and that's why I was going back. Um, I don't. That's why I don't deal with social media. I like dealing with people in person or over the phone or just communicating with them. So, so your advice to Lisa is, is deal with Lisa. Keep, uh, keep with your Facebook can, and with, talk with, to uh, yeah. yeah. Tanya. Tanya. Talk to Tanya. And stop playing games with yourself. Meet at a Burger King. I don't know. You don't have to meet on a one-on-one conversation if she might stab you. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) It sounds like, uh, Lisa, you and Tanya have a lot of other issues going on. Some some deep root stuff. I told you that. She slept with uh, Jordan. I don't know. (laughs) Like, you know. I'm just. This was the top of the mound. This was. This I think. I think that. Lisa, Lisa, you are one of those people that uh, is scared of confrontation. confrontation. Avoid confrontation, mm-hmm. and not everything has to be a conf- I, I really have a hard time dealing with people like that because yeah. they I'm think that they think that I'm confrontational, and I'm actually not. But I don't avoid it. Like if I feel like something's wrong, if you come to me and tell me something and it's wrong. Or I don't like it. I'm going to talk to you about it. Right. And then some people just run. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then there's no, you never have any understanding. Most people. Yeah. And then if they don't run, you have the people that um, they think they smart mm-hmm. and they do yeah. all these weird things to avoid the confrontation and they make the shit worse than it would have been. Yeah. They should have just dealt with the just confrontation. Like, yeah. Just tell me. Yeah. Like, yeah. Do you feel some type of way about me? Just let me know. Yeah. yeah. You know, I said this years ago um, about some cat one time. I said, let that mo- <laughs> let that mo- <laughs> try not to curse. Sorry. I said, um, I'd rather somebody tell me they're going to kick me in my nuts. Yeah. Rather than they just kick me in my nuts and I'm like, why the well, fuck you kick me in my fucking nuts? Yeah. 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 Tell me you're going to kick them off. Because it's going to blow up eventually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, you can run from it all you want, but, but it's still going to eat at you. Yeah. It's going to eat at you. Any human being in the world. Yeah. I mean, any human being in the world, when they sit there and fester on it, that's, yeah. that's anybody. Yeah. But Lisa, you, you, you deleted your whole page. <laughs> Right. It's it's way beyond those comments. You lost your right. You yeah. lost your mom's account. Gonna, yeah. Your yeah. sister's account. Even yeah. if Tanya doesn't ask you, all yeah. the other friends are going to be like, "What happened yeah. to you?" Yeah. So maybe you just you want attention. You want attention. Yeah. Yeah, because that's pretty. That's pretty drastic. That's pretty drastic. <laughs> right. Yep. Because yeah. I've had a lot of. I mean, she brought up politics. Yeah. First of all, I don't even know why people. It's. it's, it's oh. You're not going to change anybody's mind at all. on politics or religion. I've said that since I was probably like 13, 14 years old. If you can, so, then, then if you can, then they don't have that strong belief in me. So either way, yeah, go ahead. Anywho, um, 
So my thing is, do you like Tanya as a person or not? And obviously you don't because you're terrified of her. <laughs> <So> <laughs> terrified enough to say goodbye to everybody on social media. Right. Your mama, yeah. your grandma, yeah. your aunties. Yeah, so uh, look to yourself, Lisa. Tanya's not your biggest problem. That's how I feel about that. I mean, she had to really get really frustrated. She had to take a bit. I mean, I she get really like, frustrated. And you know what I do? I say what I got to say. You say what you got to say. And then we're not social media friends anymore. Or friends, period. If it's that serious, that's it. So. Yeah, but it goes back to what I said. Just being in front of somebody at the end of the day. You'll have a better response than but the social Tanya, media But Tanya could be in, <clears throat> in New Mexico and Lisa could be in the UK. There's FaceTime. Well, Lisa don't give a fuck. I mean, Tanya don't care. <laughs> no, Tanya, Tanya don't, don't care at all. Tanya's if, still talking yeah, shit. If Tanya Tanya's cared, still talking <laughs> shit to she your was, friends, yeah. mutual friends, she other was, people, yeah. If she cared about what she was saying <laughs> that much, about people's feelings getting hurt, she wouldn't have said it. Yeah. So you deleted your whole page over her? She probably yeah. don't feel about you the way you feel about her. At all. Mm -hmm. At all. And if you don't agree with her, she don't want to fuck with you. <laughs> right? So if she's bullying people yeah. and everything else, yeah. Okay. We can't be friends anyway because this, this is where I'm at. Yeah, because I don't even like... It's not even that we're opposing sides on whatever. You called her a bully. Mm -hmm. You called her all these things. So if that's how you feel about her, then why why are you want to be friends with somebody who's a bully? <laughs> Maybe she didn't know, know how to work Facebook that well. Or she didn't know how to her. That's why I gave her I gave her other options. Right. It's like, Maybe then there's the answer. Yeah. You delete. Hey, you what was it, Tanya, or which one was going? Lisa. 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 Uh, go to um, YouTube no, <laughs> and Google. Learn how to delete. Yeah. A certain person or or mute them. Lisa, or mute them or Lisa, it's obvious you really, really, really miss Facebook because you set your ass down there for us a letter. You write nuts letters. Just to turn that shit back on right. and get the fucking messages to it again. Lisa, if you scared of Tanya, send us her address. Yeah. If you're scared of Tanya, we'll write her a letter. Yeah. You write, you write letters, man. Who write letters? If you're scared of Tanya, you're scared of us. Who write, who, who write letters about social media? Come on. Right? <laughs> you should have muted her and then did a whole post about I got some mute people because you're getting on my damn nerves. Right. You know, da 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 da. And then, but she didn't want that smoke from Tanya. Tanya got that bully vibe. Yeah. 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 God bless you, Lisa. Um, get, Good some, luck. Get, get some nuts and um, yeah. stand up. Yeah. Tanya's going to lie. Go to Title. Join Title Boxing or some <laughs> shit. All right, last one. <laughs> Dear y'all, I'm torn between two guys. I have known the first guy for a year, and we had some ups and downs. Six months ago, he had a heart attack, but he pulled through, thank God. I don't feel like she's really happy. <laughs> but, just, but since then, things have been very hard. Our relationship went sour, and we broke up. I met the second guy online a month ago, and he seems very sweet and down to earth and treats me like a princess. <laughs> The first guy and I ended up talking again, and the problem is I'm still in love with him. I think both of them are wonderful, and I don't know what decisions to make. Please help me. Okay. Paul, <laughs> see, see, Paul, leave your, daughter, oh, oh. leave your daughter at home so she can deal with this oh, shit yeah. right here that she's dealing with. Paul so that's, 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 no, this is Paul, Paul is the dad. Paul. with the antisocial daughter that the mama keep dragging to the... Yeah. Okay. The daughter don't want to go out with them. She needs to stay at home and deal with this online shit she did. <laughs> I feel like this is that movie Crash, this shit where you watch something and everybody gets connected. <laughs> this is Paul's like, oh, twenty. Shit. This is Paul's Paul twenty. Knows sleep. Paul knows. Yeah. This is Paul's twenty-year-old daughter. That's antisocial. Don't go nowhere. You know, because she's torn between two guys, and she's trying to figure this shit out. And her parents keep dragging her on to this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because the mama feeling guilty for whatever reason. Okay, so Look, what is this girl's name? Her name is <laughs> Root. She sounds she sound like Root. Yeah. Root. Root. Or yeah. Root. 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 Okay. So, either or. Root. R-U-T-H. R-U-T-H. Root. Yeah. Okay, Root. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ruth. That's funny. Here's, here's <laughs> my answer from the girl Ruth. You don't know either of these mofos <laughs> at all. <laughs> You're saying that you were with this guy for a year. He had a heart attack <coughs> after six months. He doesn't even know who his self is <laughs> after a heart attack. <laughs> but you said he almost didn't survive. So you really, you only knew him for six months. And, okay. So then you just met this other guy online, cool, you know. Well, online he dating. was having a hard time. No, no, they broke up. I know, I'm joking. No. And you've only known this guy a month and he treats you like a princess. Well, first of all, that should be the minimum. <laughs> After a month of dating someone, you probably see him, what, three times and you're just talking? Uh, you don't know either of them. And you're just torn because you sound like somebody who just doesn't want to be alone. And I think that's the problem. You you don't want to be alone. You have this option. Yeah. And it's not enough time frame. Right. It's not enough time frame to be this torn to write a letter about this. Right. <laughs> like, the guy had a heart attack. You didn't, how your letter read didn't sound like you felt guilty about breaking up with him because he had a heart. It sounded like he turned into an asshole towards you. That's why y'all broke up. And then you went to the online yeah. dating and you found this other guy. But she don't really know this a month. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Coming from, from coming from a man's point of view, Ruth, <clears throat> I, I agree with the girl. So, number one, it sounds like you don't want to be alone. And you creating dilemmas for yourself <laughs> with, I'm not going to say complete strangers, because you, you don't give enough background information, you know what I'm saying, to even say how you torn between two people. You know, so, sound like the, the tearing or the torn is all in your head, you know, because you sitting around fantasizing or have some preconceived notion of relationship A and relationship B. And that you need to make a decision. Yeah. Sound like the heart attack dude already made a decision. Y'all broke up. Um, he trying to he trying to live. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he don't want to have another heart attack. You know what I'm saying? So no. <laughs> I was about to say that. I was so about to say. That's that. why he left your ass the first time. You know what I'm saying? So. But maybe she left him. Oh, maybe maybe, maybe <laughs> she left him because that. he had a heart attack. He trying to recuperate, and she sound like she need this attention. She sound kind of. You know what I'm saying? You don't do this no more. Mm. You know, I just had a motherfucking heart attack. Yeah. I damn near died. Yeah. I'm trying to get my shit together. And he probably treated you like a princess for the six months before yeah. the heart attack. Before the heart attack. Like but, homeboy is yeah. doing for the one month. But now I got to treat myself like a fucking prince to get my feet back on the And I'm just going to say this really quick and then kind of obviously <laughs> answer. But if you dealt with someone going through a heart attack or something medically traumatizing they gonna change number one they're gonna change but if you didn't like them after that change they're not gonna change back no so you weren't in love enough to stay like that's something that will either make you or break you yep. something that serious yeah but you guys didn't have enough time and it was six months ruth right <laughs> like, and if you tore yeah. me behind some Internet guy, a month long. Yeah. You, you in my la land. Yeah. You know, wake the fuck up. Yeah. And be, look in the mirror and just be honest with yourself. Yeah. Right? Honestly, you could hang out with them both. Because <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put, I, pull the computer up. Yeah. And, and yeah. You know, I, I don't know if the heart attack this, dude is. Mr. Heart Attack? It's tangible. He might we be broke, on. We broke too. up. I'm, talk, I'm <laughs> talking to Timothy now. Yeah. And, uh, We'll just see how it goes. Because, Root, you know, if our time is precious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We are allotting you this time. We want to give you the advice so you can succeed. But, man, don't come with the bullshit. But Ruth Who, sounds you? like someone who's like, yeah, but I'm 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 28 and I'm I'm past my prime. I need to find a man. Okay, <laughs> you, know, you got to. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you got to. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. You didn't tell her to sleep with them both. <laughs> Pick the one that's the best. Cognac's advice is always try them all out. <laughs> this, is, this is my speech at this point. Just see what works. I don't know. <clears throat> is, one, is one going like this? Or one going like... <laughs> right. I mean, the way, the 
way the world works today. I mean, shit. Why you gotta give this man another heart attack by being like, no, I'm going to my other man. <laughs> <laughs> And if, Ooh, wait, if I was room if room? I was Tom, I would just do that anyway. It's just a win. Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you just prop me up in the chair while y'all fuck? <laughs> Can you imagine having a conversation with her? Because she in in her mind she's torn. So if I'm the heart attack guy, can you imagine just trying to talk to her and she think that she got options? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So how much shit? And can you imagine? Oh, yeah. Can you imagine the other guy, the one month guy? Trying to treat her like a prince in the back of her mind, she got options. So she putting herself on a pedestal yeah. for really no damn reason. No, because at not all. Time. Like I said, yeah. It, yeah, that's the fact of the matter is it it was it wasn't like they were together like five years. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. That's what if they were together is. five years, then she's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, heart attack, man. You know, just prop me up in the chair. <laughs> Come on, man. He a fighter. Yeah. He bounced back. You just gave uh, him. Yeah. No, I'm you, saying I'm bouncing you back. You gave him a whole other disease. Yeah, you gave him a stroke. <laughs> you guys oh. can't see him, but Rob's like flipped over in yeah, the like chair. Like, like he can't even move. No, I'm saying this. <laughs> he drooling this shit. You, you zoom, zoom the strip club for me. Zoom like, it. Like zoom he, the like he the guy in the movie with Kevin Hart that. Oh Lord, I didn't see that. I know what you're talking about. Oh, the one I haven't yeah. seen. Yeah. I haven't seen That's a great movie. Talking. It's a remake too, but that's but, a great movie. Anywho, but uh, yeah. At the end of the day. Yeah, heart attack, stroke, man, whatever. Ruth, <laughs> Isn't that the same shit almost on? No, no, no. Well, no, yeah, you're right. At the end of the day, Ruth, honey, if you don't know either of those men yeah. enough to be in this type of dilemma. <laughs> well, you don't know yourself, Ruth. No. I hate to tell you. No. I love you, though. Yeah. Get your shit together, Ruth. I mean, get your shit together. I guess leave heart attack, man. Go, I mean, kill, murder, whatever we're doing. <laughs> get, get with Prince Charming and break his heart again for the fucking second time. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth, did you cause his heart attack? <laughs> for real. It sound like it. I mean, you might have, you might have, he might have been, she might have been cheating with the old boy before. No, she and just he, not, she and just he had a heart him. attack seeing him at the cafe. <laughs> and his heart just broke. Rob have made a whole lifetime movie. Seen them on Zoom together. Right? <laughs> Zoom me from Zoom. Seen them on Plenty of I seen you on Plenty of Fish. I come on talk to this motherfucker. Yeah. Well, we don't know. Ruth, it might be ranchers. This is a weird the thing. I, just, thing. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a, you know, take some time to evaluate have, the situation. Yeah. yeah like, hey, yeah. my fingers are working. I'm telling you. Ruth, Ruth. The thing is, it's 2021. And it's no need to be torn, right? Make a fucking decision <laughs> and and move. You know, but keep you moving. You don't have a valid decision, so go with. She does. She doesn't magic have the tools. She, does, <laughs> she doesn't have tools to make a decision because you don't know either of these people. <laughs> but she should. I mean, she, but she's trying to make a but decision. But the, the, the thing is, when you've made peace with yourself and you're comfortable with you. You can make those decisions. And you were comfortable enough to leave this man, or he yeah. left you after I'm, a heart attack. I'm the wrong one without, because I don't go back. So <laughs> we can be cool. We can be super duper cool, but hey, that's all we're going to be. Yeah. I'm so moving you, on. That shit over with. You what checking up? up on heart attack, man, or you're just like, nah. That's I'm over with. Man, if it was over and it was oh, really that's over, it. that's it. I don't go back. Okay. I mean, it didn't. But that's why I say, like, especially something like that, that would bond you together. Yeah. You know what I mean? In like, a way. You don't know if he has to take certain medicines. Or, yeah. Da, 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 da. If you walked away from all of if that. If it's over and I'm seeing you, somebody else. And you signed up yeah. for something Not, because you didn't want him that bad or he didn't want you that bad. Yeah. There is a reason. 9.5. And, and you I, don't have that much time in to feel that bad. But here's the gray area on that. So heart attack, man. Laying in the bed, you been with him, you loved him. They broke up when he recovered. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. yeah, that's what she said. You so, missed that part. He recovered, thank God. Yeah. He's fine, but then we started arguing mm -hmm. and stuff. Because he probably was wilding out. He was like, oh, yeah. shit, I almost died. Yeah. He was, yeah. YOLO. He was, he was on the sweepy swipies, <laughs> as Rob calls it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
on the sweep yeah. swipeies, you know, yeah. where you swipe left, swipe yeah. right. Yeah. He, yeah, followed, my green yeah. Team. he was like, shit, I almost died. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get all of the whatever I can yeah, get. Yeah, say it. And I, that didn't work. I so now it. you you're doing it and now he's done with sweepy swiping. Yeah. <laughs> and She's you like, found this guy <laughs> who you don't know who he is either. Yeah. But you you can't have a a safety net. I then and down. I'm not gonna go through all this shit with you. You're right. <laughs> shit. I might have another yeah, one. Yeah, with you. I'm, Come I'm on, man. Yeah. I'm good. I can still drop it like it's hot. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm searching for the tens of the, of the world. Oh, hell. Before I pass. <laughs> <laughs> the tens. I, I knew it was a two with yeah, a good personality. Yeah, you was a two with a good well, personality. Okay, so and now, and now you taking away from the two <laughs> with all this bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, good, good I guess it could like <laughs> sweeping. <laughs> he not paralyzed. No, Rob <laughs> has literally gave this yeah. man a whole nother yeah. disease. Well, we're on video. <laughs> the, the dude is good. <laughs> He's fine. He's fine, but he because she want him back. But she he had a traumatic. Him. He just can't walk to the couch. Situation, <laughs> whatever it is. The nigga, he, he got to he got to pace himself in bed. Most people change after a traumatic situation. <laughs> he got to pace so. himself in bed where he used to. But didn't you have don't to know if he changed or that was just him because you yeah. were only with him six months before that happened. He probably don't like he him. He showed no you his. How best. dead was this cat? Because you said he I don't changed know. When I don't know died. Ruth personally. No, I'm it's just, just saying. A you said he changed when he died. How dead was this cat? He never <laughs> died. I said no, everyone. Attack, everyone honest, changes no. with a life, tra- a traumatic experience. So, but you don't know because it's not like you knew him for years, and it's like yeah, see, he I'm, used to be in the Gulf. He and used this to is be the, in the it's You a don't time know. Frame. It's like, that's what. That's what I from said. From the beginning, the whole time. I said that too. I said from the beginning. Ruth, it's a time. get over it. Yeah. Get over it and get under someone Whatever else. Whatever you need to do, <laughs> get under yeah. someone. And, yeah, and, and look yeah. in the mirror and, and stop fooling yourself. Yeah. You, you ain't all that, Ruth. You ain't torn. Motherfuckers don't want you. Torn. She said she's torn. He's like corn. Somebody, somebody's torn. Somebody's Yeah. We know you're beautiful. Come on, Ruth. Goddamn. You ain't popped yet. That's what I thought you meant. You fucking uh. Finding dudes online, talking about they treat you as, like a prince. That's everybody that you meet on there for the first month. They gonna treat you like that. Yeah, for real. Maybe. Hey, that's the last question. Yeah, that was to, awesome. the dear yeah. y'all. <laughs> so to, to all the uh, no, people who sent, no, 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 to all the people who sent any questions, we hope that you we gave you some sound advice, and we pray that you know whatever decisions you made based off of. Your situation, and not necessarily our advice. You know that things are working out for you, and you're you're happy, you're stable, and, and I you're loved. Everybody right. took some advice from it. I mean, huh? <laughs> everybody took some advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The roof waters. Right, yeah, yeah. Think about it. Yeah. Like, as in reading them, I know people yeah, me in too. my I, personal life. I gave myself some yeah. advice. Yeah. <laughs> and me, yeah, me yeah. too. So, All right. Well, going back to... Um, I got to go to a deep dive and hide for real when I win the lottery. Uh, uh, <laughs> go, going back to um, other podcasts and stuff, y'all don't really know me as far as, like I said, about social media and stuff. And um, people that do know me know that I respect every person in this world friends mostly family mostly and i love all y'all Go thank ahead. you rob <laughs> hope you feel better brother no, yeah learning from it it's right. funny to me I don't yeah. know. so we're gonna go to our segment you know we always say we turn ourselves to three thousand um Episode. episodes so we have our three thousand question book about us 3,000 questions about us it's um, the girl's turn to randomly pick a question I hope she randomly picked this question because she kind of went straight to it I know Rob he studied the book and he I did not his study the book. book I literally opened it and <laughs> nah, we were, me honestly. and Rob last week we had a, a, con- a pre-conversation about the question before. I literally just <laughs> opened it and put a start by a question I don't well, know she literally just <laughs> okay you know. All okay, right. I don't live here, so I don't know what be going on when I ain't here. So. Not this book. <laughs> me and you, we, you yeah. know me, I put yeah. the book in front of you. Yeah, and like, I don't think oh. I'm going to ask this one. This is going to be a good one. I'm like, this is supposed to be random. 
<laughs> it is. Okay. It's my so I did open the book yeah. in front of you. You just right. didn't yeah, see I it. Yeah, I and I, see You'll look. My, I see stars, the big star. my stars are different questions. The I colors. I have I a whole you. new pen. All right. So this question is number 1508. And this is different than normal. Uh, it says, what song on your playlist gets played the most? What song on my playlist get played the most? Yeah. Uh, I don't play no damn playlist song. Um, <laughs> the song that probably gets played the most. Like, what's a song that comes on? I guess maybe maybe this is easier and you'll hit repeat just because that's, you know, that's your that. bop. I ain't got time for that. This song, I don't know if that's the name of it. It's this Yo Gotti song. Not Yo Gotti, Moneybag Yo. And he said he ain't got time today. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. Time today. Yeah, time today. I That's sh- my. F you yeah. not. F <laughs> you not. F you not. Yeah. I took after girls' night. I took my sister home, and I was like, I just need you to hear this song because I just feel like it's like our spirit, <laughs> and that was the song I put on. Yeah. That's not my number one played, but but yeah. That's my song. Yeah, right I just looked at my wrist. I got time today. Yeah, I got, yeah. yeah, I got time today for the. And then I'm crossing the line today. Yeah, yeah. that's a good one. That's yeah, it, you should listen to it. There's yeah. one lyric in there where it says you might have the same shoes, but you ain't stepping. You ain't stepping. Period. Yeah. And you can't. Oh, I actually posted something on my personal, and I said you can't compete when you don't compare. You mean don't compare? So there's yeah. just, just stop. <laughs> and and I'm going home. I'm um, Drake. We're going home. That's my jam. So I got a lot. Y'all have no playlists. I just listen I have to. playlists, but I'm just trying to think of. Maybe I should just say an artist. Probably if Cardi comes on. Cardi, I don't turn Cardi. I don't turn the baby. Yeah. <laughs> and well, I don't. You I don't. Try. I don't turn <laughs> Dermot Kennedy. Those you are my three. Song. No, I'm just saying. I have playlists. Like I have playlists. If I'm in the car, I have playlists. If I'm going to sleep, I have yeah. playlists. If I'm working <laughs> out, but. I usually don't turn anything to baby. I don't know why. I just like that little dude. <laughs> <laughs> Cardi just gets me crunk. He talented. Megan The Stallion gets me crunk. And then Dermot Kennedy and probably John Legend. Those are things I don't skip past oh, on my shit. playlist. I would have lunch too. Music is so boring to me right now, but uh, yeah, that's about it. I, I listen to YouTube. Um, I'm, I'm, for some reason, I'm addicted to this guy. I mean, I've always not addicted to him, but Country Wayne. I, when he was on Facebook, I used to always watch Wasn't his little skits. comedian? Yeah, yeah, comedian. Oh, okay. He did a little skits. Like, oh, yeah. So he started on Facebook, and I always watched him on Facebook. Now he got him on YouTube, and I can watch him all. And he do this dude called Dip, <laughs> like the local drug dealer. <laughs> that, um, shit, that shit is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Cognac is really torn because he doesn't listen to music at all. No, I do listen. When? What do you mean? No, I had my... Um, so, you want my one I don't turn? Yeah. Okay. Still fly. Gator boots with a big time Gucci shoes. Ain't got no job, but I stay fly. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. I don't turn that either. That's motivation. That's a good one. That is a good one. And then I got, um, um, can't pay my rent. That's all my money spent. And then, are we given three? No, yeah. I just said oh. my artist. <laughs> I, like, I couldn't think of a particular get your roll song. On. Everybody get, get your roll, roll on. on. Everybody, everybody get your motherfucking roll, roll on. on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, There's I some good ones, man. Yeah, those are I need to put them on my playlist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't have a... The, I mean, the bass for back in the day. Yeah. Like, I mean, like my artist, like I said, like WAP was out and then I like Cry Baby now. Like, yeah. And I, and Cry, well, well, okay, I'll say that. Cry Baby is one of my favorites right now that I hit repeat. Yeah. Because it's the baby and Megan. The yeah. They, they, they do, they do good together, do real good together. Yeah, they, they, yeah. they make good music. They should just be together. Huh. I don't know their business stuff, so, but I like them together. Cause they Baby say he's a businessman. Somebody <laughs> asked him. He said he's a businessman. I know, but they have done <laughs> so, so many collaborations yeah. at this point, and he, even in his songs by himself, he brings her up. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I'm like... But, you know, remember when you first, I first heard that song and said, 
I need a big fine woman with a ass with her. I need a big fine woman with a ass with her. I was like, that, that was fucking juvenile. That was yeah. casual. Well, everybody yeah. bites yeah. off everybody's stuff. No, so. so that's it, man. Um, that was an awesome show. I yeah, want I want to thank the girl for coming up with. She came up with some dope topics, you know. Thank you, thank yeah. you. We can give her majority. We can give her the, not all the credit, but a lot of the credit for the topics. Um, it's oh. a co- it's a collective, but and the see, social you know. media. Yeah, right. yeah, Thanks. yeah. She does thank that. you for all that you do for. Thanks, guys. Um, to for the show. Kanye Tequila and the girl show. That's very um, sweet. Thank means you. a lot. Um, and I just sit here looking cute and talk. Yeah, yeah. you're so cute, Robert. You're so cute. The Kanye <laughs> Kanye is the glue. Voice. Kanye is the glue. He keep us on our toes, and he sometimes <laughs> yeah. he he don't recognize what he do because he it's not as tangible as the some of the stuff, but. He we would not be us without him. Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah, yeah. There won't be a podcast. Nah, yeah. Period. <laughs> nah. Yeah. No yeah. blush, man. No yeah, blush. No, yeah. yeah. God damn. I mean, no. it's just not red. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Looking like Santa Claus. <laughs> I'm just saying, thank y'all. Yeah, thank y'all if y'all are listening. Whatever. More listeners, welcome. And uh, yeah. I thank guess. you guys so much. We'll be there. Hey, Carlos. You want to come say, say good night to, the, say to the people? Yeah. Say good night, man. This is Mike Tequila's son. You can say it right there. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for this week's episode of Cognac, Tequila, and the Girl. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on your favorite podcast app. As always, we'd love to hear your feedback. Follow us on all the social medias. Leave your comments and reviews. Until next week, keep safe and keep your squad close. Thanks for hanging out.